Welcome to Catholic Truth. In this video, we are going to be debunking Pastor John MacArthur, who is sadly one of the biggest and well, most well-known uh, pastors and teachers and evangelists out there, but he's also one of the most misinformed people out there on Catholicism, and he's leading millions of people astray because he hasn't done any research. And as we're going to show you, what he says about Catholicism and what we actually believe are two totally and completely different things things. I mean entirely, so much so that I'm going to quote to you official Catholic teaching and show you that what he says is the polar opposite of what we believe, and he's slandering, and he's uh, spreading errors and misconceptions about the church. So here we go. Hello everyone, my name is Brian Mercy, a president of Catholic Truth. We want to help you to know your faith, love your faith, live your faith with purpose and passion, and even be able to defend it. And so on this channel, we debunk people like John MacArthur who spread errors about Catholicism, grievous errors about Catholicism, flagrant errors that aren't even close to true. In another video, which we will be debunking, he says that Mary is higher than Jesus and even higher than God in the Catholic Church, and nothing could be more preposterous and ridiculous than a statement like that. And he can't support it in any way, shape, or form, and nor can he with the quote he's going to give in this video. So let's debunk him and see what he says about Mary and Catholicism. Catholicism is a kind of New Testament form of Judaism that says you don't have access to God. You need somebody else to give you that access, like a priest. That would be an Old Testament perspective. But in Roman Catholicism, this is what the Catholic Church teaches. They teach and have taught for centuries that access to the Father comes only through Mary. Of course, Catholicism somewhat resembles Judaism because Catholicism came out of Judaism. The New Testament biblical Christianity came out of Judaism. The apostles were Jewish. Jesus was Jewish. Mary was Jewish. They were all Jewish, and they were all going to the synagogue, and then they started following Christ, and they became Christians. So, of course, there's going to be some similarities, and if there aren't any similarities, and yours doesn't remotely resemble Judaism, then you are not part of the Christian church, because the New Testament biblical Christianity still, in part, resembles the the Jewish religion. It wasn't completely and totally cut off in every single way. It was fulfilled, not gotten rid of. But the biggest problem with what Mr. MacArthur says is he says, and it's an outright lie, it's an all outright falsity, he says that Catholics do not have access to the Father. He says that Catholics do not have access to God, and the only access they have is through Mary. If you want to get to God, then you have to go through Mary, and this is 100% not true. And just so you don't take my word for it, I'm going to read for you a few quotes, official quotes from official Catholic sources like the official catechism of the Catholic Church, uh, the Council of Trent, other Vatican documents and things like that. So you can see that Catholics do have access to the Father. We are told to approach the Father. We can go to God on our own, and it's through Jesus Christ, not Mary. So every single thing in every single sentence that he says is wrong. You wonder if he even picked up a book ever on Catholicism or did anything more than read anti-Catholic books which don't really give the true Catholic story. So here's what the church teaches, and this comes from Catechism, the official Catechism, paragraph 51, and it says this, It pleased God in his goodness and wisdom to reveal himself and to make known the mystery of his will. His will was that men should have access to the Father through Christ, the Word made flesh, in the Holy Spirit, and thus become sharers in His divine nature. Now, does that sound like Catholics need to have access only through Mary? No, of course not. And here's another one uh, from the Holy Spirit in the life of the Church and the world. It's a Vatican document, and it says this, Having accomplished the work of the Father, which he had entrusted to the Son on earth, John 17, 4, on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit was sent to sanctify the church forever, so that believers might have access to the Father 
through Christ in one spirit. Again, we have access to the Father. Christ did that for us on the cross. He opened the way. He reconciled us back to God. One more quote, and I could, I could give many quotes, but we'll give one more just so you get the point. This comes from paragraph 2780 and 2781 of the Catechism of the Catholic Church, and it says that we can invoke the Father, meaning we can pray directly to the Father because he has revealed to us by his Son, man, and because of his Spirit, which he made known to us. It goes on to say that there is a personal relationship of the Son and the Father, and this is something that we can share in, and that when we pray to the Father, we come into communion with him and the life of the Trinity. So not only can we access the Father and have access to the Father in and through Jesus Christ and what he did for us on the cross, but we can approach the Father directly on our own and pray to him and have a relationship with him and come into communion with him and and the life of the Trinity, everything that is expressly opposite of what Mr. MacArthur said. How can he say that? He says it from one quote from a book that he took out of context. He didn't read the first line. He ignored that. And he started halfway through the sentence because the first part of the sentence didn't fit his theology and didn't fit what he wanted to say, his pre-written bias. He also left out the middle of the paragraph, which literally contradicts what he says. And so I'm going to read this paragraph. But first, let me show you what he says and where he gets this quote from. Let's play that clip. Only through Mary. Let me read Ludwig Ott. This is Roman Catholic systematic theologian who speaks for the church. Quote, Mary's intercessory cooperation extends to all graces, so that no grace accrues to mankind without the intercession of Mary." Did you get that? No grace accrues to mankind without the intercession of Mary. Continuing the quote, "...the redemptive grace of Christ is conferred on no one without the actual intercessory cooperation of Mary." You get nothing from God. Mary gets it for you. Mary has to get it for you. You get nothing from God. You can't approach God. You can't go to God. Nothing. And that's because he took this out of context. And I have Ludwig uh, Ott's book right here. We have it. And I've, I'm going to quote it for you so that you can see that he misquoted it. As I said before, he didn't uh, quote the first part of the sentence. And he left out the whole middle of the paragraph because it directly contradicts him. How dishonest do you have to be? I don't... <sighs> there are a lot of dishonest people in the country. There is a lot of dishonest people in the world, but a leading Protestant pastor who has influence because of his radio show and because he's a teacher is... I don't even want to say intentionally misleading people, but... <sighs> How can you be that ignorant as to only quote parts of the paragraph that fit your preconceived bias and ignore the rest? It's intellectually dishonest. It's as fallacious and as sophomoric as it comes. Let's look at what it says. It says, according to the view of the older and many modern theologians. Okay, so first of all, that's the part he left out. According to the view of theologians, meaning it's not a dogma. This is not a the highest form of Catholic teaching. And in fact, later in the book, he says that it should be made a dogma. Oh, and I should stress here, by the way, even before I get to this paragraph, I want to read to you uh, what he says right before that, because he's talking about Christ and the mediatorship of Christ and the one mediatorship of Christ. Listen to what he says. This is interesting context. Now, Mr. MacArthur hasn't done his homework. Mr. MacArthur has not done his research. He has not done anything, and he's going to be responsible to God, I believe, for this. Because if you read this book in context, listen to what it actually says about Jesus. It says that the God-man, Jesus Christ, is the natural and, as such, the sole mediator between God and man. Now, MacArthur puts Mary in there as the sole mediator, even more than Christ. But this book, which he's quoting, directly contradicts it because he hasn't done his homework. And he doesn't care. And he's not interested in the truth. And that's what's really sad. So before the end of this video or after this video, say a prayer for Mr. MacArthur. He needs it. Uh, it goes on to say that all other forms of mediation are subordinated to the one mediation of Christ. So even if 
uh, we pray for one another, or even if we ask others to pray for us, or ask Mary and the saints to pray for us, all other mediations are subordinated to Christ, because they all go to Christ, and only Christ goes to the Father. That is what Ludwig Ott teaches, and that is the context that comes before the part he has on Mary. Now, back to Mary. He says, according to this view um, of older and modern theologians, again, not dogma, He says that Mary's intercessory cooperation extends to all graces which are conferred on mankind so that no grace accrues to men without the intercession of Mary. Now, notice this important part that he left out. The implication is not, then, that we are obliged to beg for all graces through Mary, nor that Mary's intercession is intrinsically necessary for the application of graces. In other words, we don't need to go through Mary. We don't need to go to Mary. We, as it says in other places and official documents in this book as well, we can go to the Father directly. And we do every single day of the year. I pray to the Father every day. I pray to Jesus. I pray to the Holy Spirit. They're all God. They can all hear us. They can all help us. We go to God and we have communion with God. We have that relationship with God as the Catechism of the Catholic Church says in the Vatican documents. So we can have that relationship with God. But notice it says that we are not obliged to go to Mary. And he says, you only can go to Mary. And that's the only way you're ever going to get anything from the Father, and that's the express opposite of what Ludwig Ott says. <sighs> I mean, a high-ranking influencer like him should be ashamed for purporting such fallacious claims against the Catholic Church. I don't know how someone of his influence can be so uninformed, so understudied, so off base on the things he says about Catholicism. It's really sad. He misrepresents Catholicism in every single thing he says. And in fact, I am, we're de- debunking a 45-minute video of him right now, which we're going to post, you know, in the next few weeks. But it's very difficult because it's going to take like three hours if we cover every single mistake he says, because literally he's wrong on history, Bible, Catholic theology, doctrine, and almost everything else. So please, say a prayer for Mr. MacArthur. He's... I, I don't know how to say it, except he's a, he's a hack when it comes to Catholicism. Maybe he has some personal uh, bias there. Maybe he's had an experience that was bad. And so, you know, emotionally, he's just not open to the truth wherever it leads. But God is a God of truth. And if you claim to follow God, you have to present the truth wherever it leads the best the way you know how. So we will be debunking more John MacArthur in the future. And please share this video with him. I would be happy to talk with him or even debate him or have him on our channel to discuss these things and discuss more things about Catholicism if he wants to come on our YouTube channel or our podcast. But please, Catholics out there, please share this with others and please like it, please comment. All of these things help these videos to get out there so more people see them so we can undo the the misconceptions and the half-truths and even perhaps lies that people are telling about Catholicism and we can get the truth of Catholicism out there. That's why we do what we do at Catholic Truth because what many people say Catholicism believes and what we actually believe are two totally different things most times. And so we need to know what Catholics believe. And I know there's many Protestants that are converting to the Catholic Church because of our channel and because we point out these things. When they see that these other people haven't done their research and if Mr. MacArthur is off base on something so simple. Catholicism 101. If he's so off base on the simple things, why should he be trusted on anything else? If he hasn't done his homework in this area, how can we trust that he's done his homework well in other areas? And so that's why we quote what we actually believe to show you that I'm not just making this up. This isn't my personal opinion. This is the official teaching of the church that we can have access to the Father. So please share this with others and thank you in advance for doing that. And thank you in advance for all those people who support our ministry, all those people who make this possible, all those people who give one time or monthly, thank you, because it's your uh, generosity that allows us to do this work and keep this ministry going and reaching so many people and bringing so many people back to the Catholic Church. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you would like to follow us down below or check out our new merch, we have a ton of new shirts coming in uh, with new uh, Existence of God shirts, pro-life shirts, different shirts. So if you want to check that out, look at our website at the Catholic Truth. 
uh, org forward slash shop and you can see our new merchandise our shirts our long sleeve shirts our hoodies all coming in for fall and winter thank you very much for watching and god bless you